Legion! Legion! French Foreign Legion! 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 French Foreign Legion! The Foreign Legion, famed in legend, famed in story. In its ranks, the bravest of the brave. And suddenly... A wild-eyed jester spoofs the great Bogies. Jump, Dick! And another movie tradition bites the dust. Oh, you say you know this man. Behind the Legionnaire's uniform, you recognize Igor, the hunchback of young Frankenstein. And you, sir, you insist he's that funny little squirt in silent movie. Right you are. He's Marty Feldman. Do you intend to talk, my friend? A jest never talks. I refuse to speak. Not one word, not one syllable. I shall remain silent. Totally silent. Absolutely silent. I will not utter one single... Will you shut the... And stout fellow that he is, he's taking on the entire schmear. The sand, the sun, the camels, the wild Arabs, and spoofing it all in Universal's The Last Remake of Bogies. Oh yes, I uh, directed it too. Universal must be bloody mad. On a beach in Spain, doubling for the Sahara Desert, there's an enormous concentration of talent, equipment, vehicles, cameras, shooting the last remake... Remake? <laughs> ...of Beaugest. Uh, who or what's a Beaugest? Let's go back in time to 1924. That year, Percival Christopher Wren wrote a novel about the Jest brothers, daredevil soldiers in the Foreign Legion. Immediately, it became a smashing success as a book and play. In 1926, it became even more successful as a movie starring Ronald Coleman as Beaugest, the perfect hero. There followed dozens of Foreign Legion films, desert adventure films, sex and sand films, all of them, in essence, remakes of Beaugest. In 1939 came the most famous remake of all, starring Gary Cooper, Ray Milland, Robert Preston and Brian Donlevy as the brutal sergeant. As to why Marty Feldman chose to satirize Beaugest... And I thought that I could make a funny film out of it. Any melodrama, inverted, uh, is perfect subject for a comedy. Your new mother. Mama. Because we played all the cliches full out. For Bo, and for the sacred name of Jest. Marty is the first to admit he had help. Anne Margaret is the ideal actress for a director, in that she will respond to any ideas, she won't hold back. About the perfect hero Beau Jest, Michael York. I play the Beau Jest of the title. And, uh, but it's Beaugest with a difference. Uh, for one thing, uh, Marty Feldman is my twin brother, and Anne Margaret is my stepmother. So uh, I need to say no more. I was looking for somebody um, who was absolutely identical to me in every possible way. And I found my identical twin, Michael York. Nobody else looks that much like me. Nobody else is the same height, has the same nose, the same eyes. If they can tell the difference, then I fail. You're absolutely right, Marty. No difference at all. Now, what about Peter Ustinov? Peter has a great deal of um, the lovable rogue about all his performances. My name is Markov. And I despise you all. And I don't even know you, you gentlemen. And I remember when the sky did come out blue for one spectacular day, and I suddenly found I had to do a fight with a one-legged man on, on a battlement without a rehearsal. <laughs> and it, it somehow works, because it's all, it's impossible, and it has a kind of energy of its own. For Marty Feldman, a writer of comedy shows for over ten years, comedy is many things. Exaggeration, the unexpected, the outrageous, little touches, a blind chef, a coat of arms, the scales of justice, a 
courtroom auction. Two years hard labor. You seem very much sensitive. Couldn't I give him more? Did I hear four? Four years. Five years. Five. Ten. Well, going, going. Here is Marty Feldman's tribute to his idol, Buster Keaton. And when the shooting is done and the cameras and vehicles and people are gone and their very tracks obliterated, some of us will remember the adventure and others will remember the laughs we had in Nostalgia's sand pile. Valentino, he started it all. <laughs>